Yeah, yeah here we go for the hundredth time. Hand grenade pins in every line. Throw them up and let something shine. Going out of my fucking mind. Filthy mouth, no excuse. Find a new place to hang this noose. String me up from atop these roofs. Not a tight so I won't get loose. Truth is, you can stop and stare. Run myself out and no one cares. Dug the trench out, lay down there with a shovel. All right, I'll check. Now, this height, we're able to recover from this maneuver. Equipment, all attempts look good, all pressure's in the green. Still got fuel in both tanks, which is a good thing. RPMs are stable. Location, we're just south of the school. And landing zone, if we had an engine failure, I try to set her down on this uh, county road we got right here, directed to the south. Roger. If we can't make that, we'll just put her on one of the fields there. You have controls, sir. Controls. You have controls. Okay, so I'll do this first one here. Okay. And uh, just kind of show you the correct procedures for the recovery. Okay. So you're going to put it in and you're going to recover. Correct. Okay. Uh, so we're already at 90 knots here. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to pull some power back. Kind of slow ourselves down here. And once we get to about 60, I'm just going to go full power. It's going to kind of simulate a power on stall here. Okay. Looks clear below us, don't see any towns. Go for a nice open patch of fields here shortly. Fine, tower K346 on patch 2, ready for takeoff, northeast departure. Okay, so there's about 60 there. Okay. Go full power. Two, Climbing out here. And once we get pretty slow, you're going to feel the controls get a little sluggish, you're going to feel the slide bump it. Also here the stall board. And I'm just going to jam in left rudder. I'm going to pull back just a little bit on the control column to help activate the stall. Okay. And I'm going to hold that left rudder in. So like right now, I'm going to hold it. There you go. There's one. Power's out. And we're on speed control. Rudder opposite direction to spin. And it's going to pull out of it. Nice. There we go. And you see it saw how fast that oh, yeah. likes to jump up. Oh, so yeah. you got to make sure that you're pretty quick with it. We only lost 600 feet. Cool. So that was awesome. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Good. You have controls. I have controls. You have controls. I have controls. And let's execute a climb up to 5500, and right. we'll head back southbound and kind of stay in this general area here. Okay. <laughs> Hear my phone going off? No. Uh -huh. <laughs> That was pretty awesome. Oh, yeah. It's a lot easier to do it with the power in because you have all that extra, uh, uh, I guess, all that extra torque. Helping to roll you over. Also, the P factor helps a little bit. He said 60 knots. Once we get to 60, we'll start adding power, pitching back, slowing her up. Once you get about, once you start hearing her stall hard, start applying some little bit more back pressure, throw left rudder in there. Get her into the spin. Good. Um, once we do about one and a half, two rotations, power to idle, opposite rudder, elevator on yoke, so heroin neutral, and then start Good. slowly bringing her up. So remember, hold that pressure in on the rudder there. Okay. And just, it depends entirely on what your airspeed is doing. You may not be able to get two turns in, one or two turns in. Just keep it on the airspeed. As soon as you start to see it increase, you need to pull that power back. Okay. All right, looking for craft. 334 Charlie, left base, runway 17. Cherokee 34 Charlie, runway 17, clear to land. I might pull some power out. Okay. Help slow down. down. Yep. Yeah. Let's kind of turn toward the south uh, east here. Okay. It's going to keep us over these open fields. Okay. There you go. Okay. Start slowing us down. Pull to more power. Okay, 
60 knots. Adding power. Pitching up. Maintaining coordination for now. Good. Coming up, getting her nice and slow. Nice and clear under us, so we're good there. There you go, good. There you go, gonna add good. a little bit of back pressure, full left rudder. Hold it. There you go. Power and out. Power out. idle. Opposite rudder. Pull out nice. Slowly gentle. A little bit faster. Uh, float past that. Airspeed fleet's out there, so just get the power out a little bit quicker. Okay. So I was kind of just enjoying the ride. Yeah, no. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> just like, man, this is awesome. It's funny how in the Bonanza, stalls scare the crap out of me, but then yeah. this guy hog, let's go full. Sorry. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're gonna have to go back here. Sorry. We're good. You saw how, yeah, we went, you know, it was pretty quick. Yeah. You know, it, it jumped from 50, just by the time you're pulling out, you're, you're pushing right about 100 there. By the time you, you finish, you know, we were pretty close. We were right about 1, 1.30 or so. Okay, so this so, time I'll go ahead and recover faster. Yeah, okay. just recover. And, and if you do end up, you know, going pretty fast there, it's all about just pulling out nice, nice and, and slow. slow. You know, you don't want to exert too much. Many so many G-forces on the wings. Yeah. Cool. Okay, this next one, uh, I'm going to put us into one, and I want you to talk me through the recovery procedure. Okay. Get us back at the 5,500. Roger that. Kind of bringing us back towards the school here. Good. Checking our engine instruments. Everything's looking, looking good. Go ahead and make one more traffic call as well. All right. And okay, the traffic in the southeast. K-State Niner is about three miles south of the school. Climbing uh, 5,200 for 5,500 for performance spins at 5,500 down to about 4,000. Traffic in the south, K State 9. Gotcha. We'll for Charlie left turn and Delta contact ground. We'll turn Delta contact ground here for Charlie. All right, so, so you're going to set us up for it, and I'm going to walk you through the technique to get out of it. Roger that. Okay, okay. controls? You have controls, sir. Controls. You have controls. So we'll try this with the power off configuration here, but we'll power collapse off. up. Yeah. Last time it didn't really work out, so we'll see how it works. If it doesn't work, we'll do the power on configuration. Okay. I'll go ahead and put my power back to about 15. And while I do that, I'll pull my car heat on, just because we're going to be operating pretty low here for a little bit. Okay. Alrighty. Alright, sir, you uh, pull it back a little bit, get yourself up for 60, 60 knots. Keeping that pitch coming in. 60 knots, where are you sitting here and keep, here and keep, keep the power out? Uh-huh. Okay, so we're going to keep on the distant nose attitude, keep, keep the wings level. Roger that. I'm going to kind of oh, put us okay. over this way because there is a gotcha. house below us. Okay. Let me know when you want me to. Roger that. I didn't know if you want me to teach you to do this, this part if we were can. Okay. Yep, that's fine. Okay, we're a little east of the house now. We're good. Okay, so now we're going to keep a nose high attitude until we, this tall horn starts to go off. Once the horn once starts to go off, going to add a little bit back pressure on the yoke, left full rudder. Alright, power to idle, airline's neutral. Rudder step on the high wing and slowly bring her up. Yes, you don't want to do that at all. So we'll go full power here and we'll do a power on version. Okay. See, a lot of times, yeah, you'll get that where it did, it, that wasn't a spin situation. Yeah. That's just more of like a skidding yeah. spiral all the way down on the ground. That, okay. was, that wasn't really a spin, so we'll be back up to 5500 and uh, we'll try it again here. Sounds good. Looking for traffic. We've got enough run there 20 minutes. Run to that. Maybe a little bit less. Okay. We'll do this one, we'll do one more, Yep. and uh, head back in. Sounds good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go into the 
power on stall here. I'll just pull back about oh, 15 degrees, nose pitch up. Okay. I'll just hold it there for now. All right, it look clear. Engine instruments are good. We have plenty of landing spots down there. All right. And look out, it's good. All right, so keeping the wings level here, once we get the stall, you're going to pull back on the yoke just a little bit more, left rudder, and get us into the spin. Hands on the throttle, please. Okay, stay All right, five. pull back on the yoke, and left rudder. All of left rudder. There you go, all right, air, air line's neutral. Power to idle, rudder step on the high wing. Bring it out nice and slow, nice and slow. Nice enough. Okay. There you go. Good. Yep. Okay. Uh, we'll do one more on climb up, and then uh, this time I want you to take controls. You know, pretend. Okay. Let's just do a scenario here. I'm just a student right now. I'm not an instructor, so you need to do what you got to do to correct the situation. Okay. All right. So we'll go up here. We'll do another power on stall configuration. I want to get back up to. Oh, I guess we're pretty close right now. Yeah. We'll do it again here. Yep. And engine instruments look good. Look out yep. turns, look fine. I'm not looking, I'm not seeing any, any traffic. Good, height's good. And got plenty of light spots. Yep. Alrighty. Go into this again. Alright, hands on throttle, please. Alright. Alright, wings level. I will pretend I'm supposed to, you know, with the power on stall recovery, the power in, get the nose down. But, you know, I'm just staying slightly uncoordinated here as we're going into it. And I have controls. Yep. Very nice. Oh, much better. Get that power back in, let's try climb back up. Okay, let's do a left turn back to the school. We'll head back in full stop. Sounds good. Good work. Thanks for letting us do it today, John. That was fun as hell. Yeah. <laughs> It's like riding a roller coaster. Oh, heck yeah, man. I love doing spins. That was awesome.